rather you will see a lot of that stuff man so thanks to you all we also have my man yellow flash in the chat shout out what's up what's up you know we have the mighty golden patriot on the way soon enough getting things cooking really excited for my for, for my butt man man he's um he's been killing it he's been killing it you got Barry the extra the 19 months at on business what's the long-term plan for uh ripper sin well i will grow ripper sin as much as the audience will uh, allow for it there are people that have uh stated internally i'm not talking about just the audience uh there but internally with be it uh you know our, our lawyers and everything like they, they really believe in this ripper sin thing and that it's going to be potentially bigger than what the actual Ripperverse is long term and we'll see if, if that happens but Long term, it's it's just primarily going to be determined by what the audience and and the reaction that we get. Now we want to be bringing in projects that we believe in and what works and what we think we can send over the finish line as far as some of the long term goals of the aspiring creators, right? Um, and yeah, it's I guess long term, but though it's going to form kind of into this. You know, we're starting out with the first two projects where it's all encompassing. So we have Jay's Zachary Chronicles Green, as well as um, our man's Flash and Mighty Golden Patriots, some other conversations that we're having about some other publishing things that we want to do as well. But they're getting like the full shebang. So you get to see it in action. That said, you know, we offer all of our services independently. So whether it be consulting with regards to, hey, you want to do your own stuff, run your own campaigns and everything, and you just have some questions uh, and like need some direction there, uh, we got you there. But also general fulfillment and the fulfillment side of things are not just limited to um, books or anything for that matter. I like, will fulfill it. We have the capacity to feel, fulfill like any item that we what, what that we can handle so it doesn't matter if someone's like i'm selling coffee mugs or whatever i just want y'all to fulfill it we can do that so it's like what that looks like is gonna be really kind of interesting long term because if we're firing on all cylinders you'll have like the different wings of like while while represent is our publishing wing represent in itself is going to start to have some sort of it's almost going to act as this umbrella right and it's going to have other things under it where uh, that, that are focusing on things that aren't just books, fulfillment services that we're going to be offering, general business consultation stuff, but also, um, you know, not just even with the book stuff, not just comics, you know, novels and light novels and and, and all sorts of things that, that we, we want to be able to do. So there's also going to be that aspect of the storefront that I think a lot of people uh, are, are, aren't seeing right now that that could be massive as well. Because, you know, we'll be hosting some of the stuff on our own servers. We'll be handling the point of sales for those that want us to do that. So there's a lot of merchandise opportunities there as well. You know, uh, excuse me, as and I have talked about Ribbon of Silverback and moving, like having our officialized merch. And, you know, that officialized merch would exist on Ripper Sin. So you'd be able to go to RipperSin.com and, and uh, check us out. And get all the related merchandise that will, of course, be fulfilling. But, you know, it's separate from the Riververse and you'll be able to just grab those. So Ripper Sin has a lot of things going for it. And it's funny how things work. It's one thing that I've learned. Hashtag business. Everybody type business in the chat. Uh, one thing I've learned with business over the years is you never know, man. These opportunities come by you. You have an idea that pops up in your head that may have not been a part of your plan because I didn't start the Ripperverse with the intention that it was going to uh, even form into like this thing that you got Ripper Sin, okay, that's going to be its own monster that could also be like, again, huge for us as far as uh, the development on that. I, I didn't start the company with that in mind. That was never the anticipation there, but it, it happened. And uh, you have to be, as a, as a um, responsible business owner, you have to take that into consideration. You uh, like, and, and you also have to be flexible enough to take advantage of those opportunities. And a lot of it has to do with the audience, obviously, and the demand. Um, very much um, analytical of the, of the actual market, not like who I think will buy some shit. Uh, more or less, 
or like trying to sell to an audience that doesn't exist. I look at the world for what it actually is. And the demand was there to start this. There was always people that would ask us, when are you, are, are you going to ever publish other people's stuff? You know, we see that definitely in the independent circuit that a lot of people are over their heads, they can take advantage of your infrastructure, yada, yada. And it was, it was like, I, I'd always like be like, ah, you know, we think, we'll think about it and stuff. Until it got to a point to where it's like, nah, man, we, we have to really consider this because we can actually, we analyze, and that was the biggest thing. It was like, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew as well. So what we did was make sure that we had the capacity to be able to do that. We have a couple of warehouses. We have um, everything else going for us. So it's like, okay, yeah, we can make this happen. We can make this pop off. And here we are. And we do believe this is going to be massive for us. It'll, it'll start to look like, like the first couple of projects won't, it won't like really look like rip ascend as far as the vision that we may have for medium to long term because we're starting off with one creator in Jay's Agamatic Chronicles Green. I think once we have a, 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 a several creators that are under our belt, several projects operating at the same time, and everything figured out there, um, it's gonna look look uh intriguing. And look, who knows, man, if it does become bigger than the actual reverse as far as this universe is concerned. It's still Ripperverse Publishing uh, that's handling that. So um, no love loss over here, um, but it will be interesting to see how big that that gets because a lot of it's centered around our models. We're not the first publisher by any means. Uh, we're surely not the first fulfillment service, but we are trying to do something that's a little more unique. And in the volume that we have, actually focusing our efforts on selling directly to customer as opposed to going through like the traditional big, big uh, channels that is not to say that there won't be opportunities there that we would take advantage of but i see that the big attraction with ripper sin is for sure going to be that our model uh is it does end up be having more even if you sell less per se you make more money as a creator by selling directly to a customer because you've taken out all these middle folk but uh obviously we sell to comic book shops we that's still going to be on the table uh, that said, I do think our model is built around selling directly to you guys there. So it's going to be interesting to see where this thing, what this thing turns into. I'm very excited for it. I'm taking it very seriously. Um, you know, just as I, I work hard on the Ripperverse, and this is part of it in some case as far as the, the, the overall infrastructure. So this isn't something that's like, hey, I'm just doing it. It's kind of on a side thing. No, it's, it's something that we prepared for. And uh, we're going to we're going to take this very seriously, especially with dealing with some of these creators who I know personally, uh, such as my man's uh, Yellow Flash, as well as uh, Jay. Shout out uh, as well as Jay. And that's like like I just for their own sake, want to make sure that we're doing the best that we possibly can um, to send these projects again over the finish line and uh, make sure that. Things are done the proper way where everybody wins. And that's really the biggest thing. And I wanted to make sure our model was built on that. I didn't want to make our bit bitness model be uh centered around what the bitness model. Uh a, a bitness model centered around like, okay, hey, we're gonna make our money regardless. I, I wanted to it's set up in a way that if these creators that are, at least we're publishing, the ones that we're publishing, right? Can't speak to fulfillment and stuff. Uh, but the ones that we're publishing where we're handling everything, like we don't make money unless they make money. And to me, that that's how it should be. Everybody has, I'm a capitalist at the end of the day. So everybody has incentive. I understand human action. I understand economics. And everybody needs that incentive right there. And that's our incentive. Like if the project itself doesn't make money, meaning the creators aren't making money, then we don't make money. I think that's how it should be. So big shout out to my man's Yellow Flash, Jay. Um, all the inquiries that we're still going through, I appreciate y'all as well, man. We're working hard and uh, grinding. Clip, clip, and snip, snip.